to what's up beautiful people it's cinda roma welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's about a woman who can't stop crying after regretting divorcing her husband and yeah i'm excited to check this one out let's check it out so just tell your partner you're thankful even if you're mad at them today tell them you're thankful hmm. do not take the things they do for you for granted family is the most important thing in your marriage, your partnership, your relationship is the root of your family. It's the mm. heart of your family. And I would do anything to have mine back. I don't want to be at work. I don't want to work one job, much less two. And then they say, what does your husband do? And I say, it doesn't matter. It sucks. Welcome back, family. Today we're going to review yet another modern woman who got humbled by life after she decided to divorce her husband for absolutely no good reasons. The hardship of the single motherhood hits this woman so hard that she instantly regrets divorcing her husband. Let's watch this first clip where she regrets leaving her husband by stating that she will do anything to get her family back. Huh. I just want to say something. If you're a parent and you have a partner at home who loves you and your kids and helps take care of you in any way, mentally, emotionally, financially, physically, however it may be. They contribute to you and your family and your kids. Just thank them. Just say thank you. Wow. Remind them how grateful you are. Remind them how amazing they are. Because I would give anything to have someone at home to love me and support me. I've been the working parent. I've been the part-time working parent. I've been the stay-at-home mom and wife. And now I'm the single mom working two jobs. Hmm. And I miss my kids. But I have to pay my bills. So just tell your partner you're thankful. Even if you're mad at them today. Tell them you're thankful. Hmm. Do not take the things they do for you for granted. Do things for them. Do things with your kids, for your kids. Family is the most important thing. In your marriage, your partnership, your relationship is the root of your family. It's the heart of your family. And I would do anything to have mine back. I have not been a single mom for long. I became a single mom in the middle of my pregnancy and my son is two months old. And I can tell you right now, this shit is hard. Of course it's wow. hard. What did you expect? You taught that you could just leave a whole marriage and suffer no consequences. Really? Hmm. Guys, this woman literally left her marriage while being pregnant with their second baby. Then she opened a TikTok account so that she can start sharing her journey, complaining about how hard life is and crying on the internet for sympathy. Check it out. So just wanting to share a quick frustration of my day today. Really, it happens every day. Um, just got off of work. I'm heading to job number two. I waitressed this morning um, and I wear this necklace every day says mama um my dad gifted it to me as a push present when i gave birth um, and they're my whole world and i miss them like crazy when i'm away from them anyways um i always have people ask me about it and they say how many kids do you have and you look so young and you know, when I tell them I have two and one's two months old, they're like, wow, and, and you're already back to work waitressing? And I'm like, yeah. And then they usually make some kind of comment that requires me to respond like, why are you working? Or um, or they say, why so soon back to work? Um, don't you want to be home with your baby? And it takes everything in me not to burst into tears. So if you are that person, don't ask that. Because you just don't know. I don't want to be at work. I don't want to work one job, much less two. Not because I'm not willing to work for a living, but because I just hate being away from my kids. And then they say, what does your husband do? And I say, it doesn't matter. So if you don't know, 
they just don't ask. It sucks. No, ma'am. People have the right to ask whatever question they want to ask. You cannot police what people have to say just because it makes you uncomfortable. You chose to leave your marriage. Now you should live with the consequences. Guys, these modern women have been cuddled their whole entire life to the point of calling normal adulting difficult. Now, this next exactly. clip will show you how she is struggling to keep up with the pregnancy by herself. One thing I want you to have in mind while watching this clip is to not be fooled by the soft appearance of this woman. These types of soft-spoken women are usually the most dangerous ones because they always put themselves in the state of the perpetual victim. And at the end of the clip, I will prove that she is not the victim here. She knows exactly what she did wrong. She knows exactly what she could have done to save her marriage. All she is doing right now by creating these TikToks is looking for more attention and sympathy. So do not feel sorry for her. Let's watch. You know. So she said in the beginning of the video, if you have a husband or if you're a parent, if you have a partner, love them, say thank you. It's interesting that this woman finally woke up and realized that she lost a good one because many ladies or many women would come out to say, oh, their husband this, oh, they left the good guy, he was too good, he was too good for them or he was good, but they needed more and all of that. But I, I love the fact that she acknowledged that to say, say thank you because these women, the thing is, people don't know what they've got or what they have until they lose it. Now that she's gone to the out of the world, she has to pay her bills, she has to work, she has to take care of herself without the help of a man. Now she's realized what she's lost and she's out here saying she will do anything to have a family back. And that is the thing. Many people always think the grass is greener on the other side. They can do it all by themselves. Modern day feminists is telling them you have to be the strong, independent woman. You don't need a man in your life. Of course, you don't need a man in your life because you apparently are the man. Now she's out here regretting that she left her family she left her husband she left her partner she can't do the single parenthood alone let alone working two jobs you see you were with your husband your husband was perfectly fine providing everything for you but she just couldn't stay in the marriage she wanted to check out outside imagine leaving the marriage while she was pregnant does it even make sense these people can't even define the kind of feeling they were feeling. More than likely, that time in her life, that stage in her life was when she needed her family the most. Was when she needed to be with the family the most. But she thought the grass was greener on the other side. She was going to do it alone. And now, she's found out the hard way. She's out here crying. Of course, people really want to know what your husband was doing or, or what your ex-husband was doing for you to up and leave. And is barely how many months old and she she just couldn't take it now imagine what the man has been dealing with the family is the heart the, the heart yes it's beautiful to have a family because you can't do it all alone you need the support of somebody but of course many people are fair to think that you don't need a family you don't need to be uh, married you don't need a partner so therefore you can do it all by yourself well you you talk about you mess around find out the hard way but yeah let's go on you know the more baby appointments i go to by myself and i have a lot of them because i'm a high-risk pregnancy i've had a few hospital stays and scares i've had to transfer my prenatal care across the country in my third trimester and the more I go to these appointments alone, huh. the more I keep realizing how heartless you have to be to put a woman who loves you through this alone. I'm never going to understand. I didn't deserve to do this alone. I don't deserve to sit there by myself. And I'm tired of looking over on the bench. And no one's there for me. <laughs> I'm tired of the stairs I get in the waiting room. With all the other couples. I'm tired of 
feeling scared by myself. I'm tired of planning a birth by myself. This isn't how it's supposed to be. This just isn't how it's supposed to be. First of all, people who are loving usually do not go through pregnancy or any other hard time by themselves if they don't want to. There is always someone they can call to assist them. That is just one more indicator that people just don't enjoy being around you. Now, before I debunk her whole victimhood mentality, we are just going to play one more clip of her regretting being alone. I'm just leaving my 36-week appointment and... It's still a little early for baby to be born, but if I could guarantee he'd be happy, healthy, and perfect, I would start praying he was born any day now, because if I have to walk into this office by myself one more time and see all the other husbands and fathers with their arm around their wife and their hands on the belly feeling baby move, while I sit there by myself, I'm just going to lose it. I just don't want to do this part by myself anymore. Oh. Sorry. I just don't. I'm done. We have zero sympathy for you because you made your bed and now you have to lay in it. To conclude yeah, exactly. with this video, I am going to show you what she wrote on the caption of this video so that you guys can clearly see that she is not as innocent as she looks. You guys will see that she is well aware of the wrong things she did in the marriage, and that is why her marriage fell apart. Here it is. I say from the bottom of my heart, love your family, choose your spouse, choose hmm. your kids choose love every single day i'm not looking for pity i'm sharing this message for the young couple with a baby trying to make it work worried they missed out on their 20s i'm sharing it for those ready to throw in the towel i'm sharing this for the married people with young kids running around feeling like the love is gone with their partner choose your family you had children with this person you created a life with this person. You built a family with this person. Don't stop choosing then when things get hard, when love feels like it's fading, when the kids consume your attention and energy, and it feels like there's no time left for your relationship. Choose your spouse. Choose your partner. Choose your family. Put them first. Thank them. Appreciate them. Love them. Cherish these moments. Because the second you stop, the second you walk away, the second you give up, the second you stop choosing them, you lose it all. There you have mm. it. These women always come back to a Jesus moment when things get tough. They make emotional decisions, only to regret it all when it is already too late. All I can say is that when you let them suffer long enough, they will adjust. Fellas, do not automatically believe women who appear to be soft from the outside because they can be very manipulative. Make sure you vet mm. them properly before committing to anything. And above all, always remember to keep your head up, focus on your goals, and everything else will follow. I love you and I appreciate you for all your support. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and share to help push this content to more men in need. I'm out. Peace. Okay, she left her husband. And now she's, yeah, blaming it on the man that why would he put her in that position? No, he didn't put you in the position. You were in a good marriage or you were in a marriage you up and left while you're still pregnant and you expect this man to come running after you to beg you because you were looking for attention so bad from the outside world now you're out here saying that other people in the hospital they they've got their partners by them side by their side they got they've got somebody to comfort them by their side and she just can't deal with it she just can't take it she's imagining why she did this to her husband because obviously it wasn't her husband who left she left and this selfish mindset is just crazy you leaving your marriage the time you needed the marriage the most it's just selfish and many people are selfish are so selfish now she's out here writing choose your uh, partner choose your family be there for your family appreciate them thank you of course this is what we've been saying before marriage is for two people 
to put who put who are willing to put in the work when it gets really uncomfortable or even in the tough times but of course some people don't want to sacrifice anything they don't want to give in anything they don't want to work they don't want to put in the work to make the marriage work it sounds like she was the one seeking something outside like she said especially when she thought she missed out on so much in her 20s no girl the reason why you're married is to regain all of those things with your partner and also with your children not to seek something outside that you that, that, that you threw out but of course many people just feel like they are being entrapped by being married to somebody or they are missing out on something because they are married so they can't get what they want to get outside and finally when they go outside they realize that it's not all, all that it seems but of course, you, you like you said, you bake the cake, now eat it. It's just that simple. Because nobody's fault it is except yours. You make the move or you made the move to leave your marriage while you're pregnant or while you're still pregnant. Like who does it? Who does that? You chose a life of being a single parent. You chose a life of being a single mom. So now deal with it. It's, it's a good thing that she is now finding it the hard way and just can't take it or just can't deal with it. But of course, it's a lot easier to blame it on somebody or blame it on the husband than to look inwards or to blame it on herself. Let her just take accountability for her action and fix herself because oh, she destroyed her marriage. Now she has to deal with it. But yeah, it's a, beautiful, it's a good thing that she finally realized how important family is now that she's lost one. And I hope many people pick a lesson or take, take a lesson from this because many people don't even know the value of what family is, of what, or of what they have until they lose it. And I hope many people don't make the wrong decision as she did. But yeah, I'm sure tons of people have got different opinion regarding this. And I really love your honest contribution to this. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.